Hello friends, I'm the Reverend Terry Peterson, Minister of St. John's in Gurik. Today is Wednesday the 31st of March. It is the 37th day in the season of Lent. And today the 37th object in our Faith and 40 objects is hand cream. Um, mine smells particularly nice, so if you have a nice smelling hand cream, that's even better. But um, many of us have used a lot of hand cream in the past year because um, people have been washing their hands more and using more alcohol-based hand sanitizer and then it makes your skin dry and itchy, so a lot of hand cream has been used. Um, so I suspect most of us will have something like that, some sort of nice smelling moisturizing product in the house. So um, next time you use, of it, use it, perhaps think of this story from Mark's Gospel in chapter 11. No, chapter 14, sorry. While Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at the table, a woman came with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment of nard, and she broke open the jar and poured the ointment on his head. But some were there who said to one another in anger, why was the ointment wasted in this way? For it could have been sold for more than 300 denarii and the money given to the poor. And they scolded her. But Jesus said, let her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has performed a good service for me, for you always have the poor with you and you can show kindness to them whenever you wish but you will not always have me. She has done what she could. She has anointed my body beforehand for its burial. Truly I tell you, wherever the good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. That last verse, wherever the good news is told in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. That, I think, has not been as true as it ought to have been. <laughs> we forget this story of the woman wasting her beautiful, costly, lovely smelling ointment by giving it to Jesus just before his burial. We forget the story of um, the disciples who did not understand her gift. So... Perhaps next time you anoint your hands with something nice smelling, just remember her story. Remember the importance of giving her all, her most precious thing. Think of owning something that was worth 300 days wages. 300 days worth of work. And remember, these are 12-hour shifts of manual labor that we're talking about. 300 days wages and she poured it all and broke the jar. So that's what she was willing to give him and nobody understood. I think her story has too often been forgotten and it is our job as the people who tell the story of Jesus's life and death and resurrection, it is our job to keep her story alive because that's what he says. Wherever the good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. Not even in remembrance of his receiving of the gift, not even in remembrance of her actual gift, in remembrance of her, that her generosity, her selflessness, her um, unwillingness to be defined by the norms of the people around her, because she knew that Jesus needed this gift that she had to offer, and she gave it. So next time you are putting some lovely ointment on your hands and you can smell it, let that scent bring you back to her story, and then to think, what can I do with my hands that would offer my all, my most precious possession, myself, how can I offer that to Jesus just as this woman did? Despite what people might say about it or might think about it, how can I give something so valuable? What would that mean for us? 
And perhaps it's uncomfortable to think about that every time you put cream on your hands, but I think it's something we should be asking ourselves more than we do. What is it that I have to give? What have I squirreled away that can be given? What gift have I been keeping to myself that it is time to bring it out in the open and offer it? Whether that is a tangible thing or a resource thing or a gift, a talent, um, an energy, a skill, whatever it is, as you rub that cream into your hands, be asking yourself, what can I give with these hands? that will honor the truth of Jesus' story and also honor this woman who shows us what it means to give extravagantly and have it be rejected by some but received by the one to whom it was offered and that was all that mattered. So that's my thought for today about hand cream and about the woman who anoints Jesus with, th with ointment that cost 300 days worth of work and I will see you again tomorrow for the 38th day which is Maundy Thursday so until then peace be with you